Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to share with you something that's just so exciting. You've probably seen a lot of videos about pink themed bags, so I thought it would be really fun for me to do something quite similar, so stay tuned. So in no particular order, I'm just going to go through the first bag, no other than my Bottega Veneta Red or Chili Red bag. This is the Hobo bag, this is huge. I can possibly fit like my sister's beagle in here if I wanted to. She has a mini beagle, <laughs> so it is huge. I use a couple of stuff to stuff my bag in here. It comes with the dust bag. So it comes with a mirror in the bag and it's just so cute. Um, and I've had this for over 10 years, I think. And it's still lasting really strong. You don't need to baby this bag, it is so... It's easy to maintain, it, it's easy to wear. Even the mirror is red, it's the same colour as the bag. I got this because of, you know, in the past I just love bigger bags and I could pretty much fit everything in here. I don't really put a bag organiser in here, I just pretty much leave it as it is, like a hobo bag. And the thing about Bottega is that you could scrunch it up and literally like that and it literally does not lose its shape at all. The next piece would be my Farah Le Pa tote bag. This is a limited edition piece. I love it because it's not exactly pink or red but it has got a pink trimming right here. It is a pretty light bag and I could actually fit my bag organizer in here. This is gonna, this is like a weekend bag for me, especially if I go to the gym or if I go get like run errands that I feel that it's a bit, and I need something a bit big. Or this is also like my travel bag. I typically go for this and the straps are also adjustable. It originated from the 1700s. And that's why there's 17 holes around the bag. Fun fact. And the third item would be my mini Chanel. And it, it really just matches my outfit for today. When I saw this, this was like love at first sight. This looks the same color as the blushes that I typically go for. This is still in absolutely immaculate condition. This is a lambskin as well. And of course the Twilly doesn't come with the bag, right? I mean, I just decided to play around with my Twillies and I've just, you know, decided to hang this strap here. I typically wear this crossbody. I don't really hang it as just a shoulder strap because it's a little bit strange for me, I feel, but I love wearing this crossbody. You can wear it with a nice dress to a party or a cocktail party, a wedding or Valentine's Day <laughs> or Christmas, anytime you want to, right? So I feel that when I bought it the first time, I just felt like the leather was a lot softer, but I can, I really think that the leather over time, it just so somehow feels a lot thicker, more stiffer as well. I'm not sure if you guys feel the same way for some of the bags that you've kept over some time. I think this has been over about like a year and a half but so far it's been holding up really well the next piece would be my chevron orangey piece <laughs> i call it the it's i call it like the mandarin orange literally this is my chevron piece in lamb skin and it's in the old medium boy bag this is the only boy bag that i have in my collection when i got this i just love the color that was the first thing that i gravitated towards i thought that you know this is such a trendy piece to have and i've used this so much i brought it to okinawa with me to an island i brought it to the beach with me i bought it i brought it everywhere with me it's an easy piece and you know there's a lot of reviews going on about this bag about boy bags being really um, difficult and you know the, ch the the chain and all that really just bugs people but I think overall I feel that it's a bag that I cannot live without like I'm not gonna ever sell this piece it's something that's just so hard to come by especially the color pink not red but orange bright 
orange. I love it. Next piece would be my Kenzo mini bag. I can't remember the name of this bag, but it's so cute. It's a piece that I got like three years ago. And this is my this is my legit lunch bag that I take in and out to the office. And I've literally worn this piece so much. It's already black. I've used this to so I've used this bag to exercise as well. I remember I was cycling with it and I was wearing like a black, a full black um, outfit. That's why I think there's a couple like, there's also marks already. I've not really tried to remove it, but I don't really fuss with it. The material is really unique. It feels like plastic, but overall it's been holding really well. Like it's not coming out, the lining, the straps, silver hardware got one at the moment one button magnetic strap going on there and it comes in three what do you call that three compartments and it has got a so you can actually put like some money in here i'll just show you i've always been fascinated with like this area <laughs> especially but let me just see if I could fit anything in here. Actually, I can. I can actually fit... Um, there's an opening where you can fit probably like your hair ties, buttons, loose change if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't connect to the other side, so it kind of kind of stays in like a triangle kind of shape inside. So there's two compartments here little ones and there is one compartment behind and there's a few compartments inside so there's even um cards that you could put you could put like um six card slots in here it's pretty cute let me just check the other side because i don't really use those card slots it's very similar to a chanel wallet on chain this last item in my pink reds or bright orange collection would be my lotus pink Lady Dior lambskin bag in gold hardware. This is a bit more cool tone. This is this is love at first sight, right? I mean, it's such a girly bag. This would be random twilly. There is no brand going on, and you know you don't really have to get like you don't need to get something from Hermes or directly from Christian Dior, right? I mean, if you see a twilly that you love, just go for it. This is actually the older collection. I bought this over four years ago and I think the current pieces, they all have flaps. I got mine when there's still the, um, the zipper. So from moving forward from this year onwards, Christian Dior is going to change all their bags to flat bags and they're going to discontinue all the ones that comes with the zipper. But I find that it's really easy. I think once this ear kind of softens up after a while, it has also the, the feet going on. So don't you think that this is a cute bag? Cute, so much heritage going on for this iconic bag. I still have like those um, safety stickers going on here as well, I haven't removed it as well as over here. And I've decided to also use the twillies because I wanted to take care of this area because it's been like some time. It's been really, I feel like it's just been a few years. So I need to look after this bag, you know, it's, and it's not a bag that I would bring to a hawker center. It's not a bag that I would go out on an excursion to the zoo. It's not a bag that I would take out, especially if I know that I'm going to be all sweaty in Singapore's humid weather. This is like a proper lady bag where if I know that if I'm going to an air-conditioned place, in a restaurant, in a mall, that's when I'll take this bag. Like, so to me, I will never bring this out to the zoo, for example. Not forgetting, it comes with a strap as well so i've come to the end and thanks so much for tuning in and thanks for taking time to watch my videos and if you do enjoy these kind of videos do consider subscribing if you're new or if you're returning and you just managed to see one of my videos like that i do make a lot of such videos as well so looking forward to do more in the future
See you guys very soon. Bye.